Hello friends. Today we are going to read The Elephant in the Room. The author is Sam Wilson. The illustrator is Michael Timbios and the publisher is Book Dash. So let's read The Elephant in the Room. So what do you think this book is about? There is an elephant in a room. Can an elephant fit in a room? What do you think? Let's see. One morning, Lindy found an elephant in her room. Look, she called. There's an elephant in my room. No, there isn't. Her mother called back. Elephants don't live in houses. Everybody knows that. The elephant yawned. So what happened here? Lindy is a girl and she woke up in the morning and found an elephant in her room. And she told her mother, her mother said, how is it possible? Elephants don't live in houses. There is no elephant in your room. What do you think is happening here? Does Lindy just imagine the elephant or is there really an elephant in the room? Let's see. At breakfast, Lindy's dad asked her to pass the milk. I can't, said Lindy. The elephant drank it all. There isn't an elephant, said her dad. Elephants don't live in the city. Everybody knows that. The elephant burped. So next what happens? Lindy's dad asks her to pass the milk and Lindy says that the elephant drank it. How is this possible? Is there really an elephant drinking the milk cup? Her dad tells her this is not possible. At school, the teacher grumbled. What's wrong with this chalkboard? It's all wrinkly. That's not the chalkboard. That's my elephant, said Lindy. There are no elephants at school, said the teacher. Everybody knows that. The elephant ate the teacher's sandwiches. So next Lindy goes to school and there her teacher says that the chalkboard is wrinkly. It is not smooth. And Lindy says that's the elephant. Elephant skin is always wrinkly. And the teacher, of course, says like her dad and her mother that there are no elephants at school. At break time, the elephant followed Lindy to the playground. He knocked over the swings by mistake. Go away, said Lindy. You are not real and you shouldn't be here. Everybody knows that. The elephant drooped. He walked away, wiping his eyes with his trunk. So what happened next? When they are playing in the playground, the elephant kept knocking over the swings and Lindy gets angry and she tells him, look, everybody is saying that you're not real and you shouldn't be here, not at home, not in the school. So go away. She tells the elephant and the elephant gets sad and walks away. After school, Lindy couldn't see the elephant 
anywhere. Elephant, she called. Where are you? So then what happened? The elephant just vanishes, disappears, and Lindy is now missing the elephant and she starts looking for him. Lindy went home without him. She felt lonely. So she went outside and sat on the steps and waited and waited and waited. So Lindy is now feeling lonely. She is missing her friend, the elephant. So she goes outside her house and she sits on the steps and she waits for the elephant. But it gets dark. See, the moon is coming up and she is still there and there is no elephant. And then she saw a trunk and tusks and ears. The elephant was coming down the road. So then what happens? She misses the elephant so much sitting outside and then suddenly she sees the elephant coming back. She ran up and hugged him. I'm sorry, she said. I didn't mean it. I know you're real. You're my elephant. The elephant lifted her up and put her on his back and she rode down the street. So Lindy and the elephant make up. Lindy says she's sorry that she didn't mean to send the elephant away and she didn't mean that he wasn't real and he is her friend. And so the elephant then picked her up, put her on his back and she rode the elephant down the street. She waved to her neighbors. Hello, Mr. Green. Hello, Mrs. Green. Look at Lindy, said Mr. Green. How did she get up there? Maybe she grew. Don't be silly, said Mrs. Green. Little girls don't grow that high. Everybody knows that. So what happened next? Now that Lindy is sitting on top of this big elephant, Mr. and Mrs. Green, her neighbors, are, are looking at her when she's waving, thinking, wow, how did she go that far, that high up? And Mrs. Green again says the same thing, that this is not possible. Little girls don't grow that high. And so you're just imagining something. The elephant took Lindy to the lake and she slid down his trunk like it was a slide. Whee! She shrieked. They played all afternoon, laughing and splashing and spraying each other with water. So here are Lindy and the elephant, and they are having fun by the lake. They are playing. That night, the elephant tucked her into bed. Good night, elephant, said Lindy. Thank you for a lovely day. He patted her head and curled up to sleep outside her window. So what do you think happened here? Is the elephant real? 
Lindy is a little girl who feels lonely and wants friends. So she imagines an elephant as her friend. The elephant gives her company everywhere, at home, in school, when she's playing, and he also sleeps outside her window at night. The elephant may not be real, but he helps Lindy not feel lonely. The adults in Lindy's life, her mother, her father, her teacher, her neighbors, they cannot see him because he's not really there. But Lindy is happy with her imaginary friend. Elephants are the best friends in the world. Lindy said to herself, nobody knows that except for me and my elephant. And here are Lindy and her elephant friend having fun. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are chalkboard, blackboard, to droop, to hang down, lose energy. Try these questions. Is the elephant in the story real? Write down what you think. Did you ever fight with your friend and then feel sorry? Write about what happened and what you did afterwards.